Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're covering some of the basics of Windows PowerShell and Command Prompt. So we're gonna answer questions like, what's the main difference between the two? What are they? How do you use them? How do you open them? And how do you get started using them? But before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the command prompt is a native application in the Windows operating system that allows the user to perform different tasks using commands. Now you can think of PowerShell as a more powerful version of the command prompt. PowerShell can do all of these same things that command prompt can do, but it can do more. Now the technical definition for PowerShell is an object-oriented task automation engine and scripting language that assists the administrator to automate and configure administrative tasks. All right, so we're gonna start by looking at PowerShell and the easiest way to get there, in my opinion, is just to hit the Windows key and search for PowerShell. All right, and then once it comes up, I'm gonna click on run as administrator, we'll select yes, and here we are. And then for command prompt, the exact same thing, we can hit the Windows key, we can search for command, or we can simply just type CMD, which is the short for it. And we're also gonna run this as administrator and we'll press yes. So now we have a window open in both PowerShell and Command Prompt. All right, so we're gonna start with some basic commands inside of PowerShell. So the first thing that we can do is start to move around with some basic commands. So the command CD backslash, we're gonna press enter. That's gonna bring us back to the root of C. Another good command to know where you're at at any time is LS. We'll press enter. And this is gonna show us where we are within the root of C. And just to show you guys side by side how this is working, I'm gonna pull up my local disk here. And as you can see, this is where I am within PowerShell. You can see all of these same folders and destinations here. Now using a similar command, we can press CD space users. This is gonna move us to our users directory. So we can use LS to show us that, okay. And we'll just head back to the root of C. So that's CD backslash. All right, so now we're gonna show you guys an example of how you can start to articulate certain commands. You can use a series of forward slash, backslash, C colon. There's a bunch of different ways where you can use this language to communicate something to your computer. So as a good example, we're gonna write in the command defrag. If we wanted to defragment our disk, we would start with this. So we'll press enter. And as you can see, it gave me a bunch of different commands that I could execute when used in front of the text defrag. So if you're not used to this, this might look a little bit confusing or it may not be very helpful, but if we scroll down, it's gonna give us some examples towards the bottom. So we can use these examples to figure out how to format this command and make something happen. Uh, I've got an SSD in this computer, so defragging is not something I wanna do, but I know I can start with defrag space C, enter colon, space. And what I wanna do is analyze. So we're just gonna scroll up and we know it's a forward slash and then the letter A. So we'll type that in. So we're about to do something that Windows utilities are doing all the time, but instead you're directly controlling it and it's kind of like behind the scenes. If you guys want a bunch of simple little commands such as time and many other things that you can try for yourself, we'll leave those down in the description box below. So I'm gonna press enter on this command just as it's typed, invoke slab analysis, and there we go. Now another helpful command to know is a forward slash help. So in some cases, if you're writing out a command and you wanna know all of the different commands you can add in following the initial command, we could type in space forward slash help. <clears throat> Sometimes just entering a command without anything might not bring up the help scripts. So we can type this and it's gonna run the exact same thing. Now we have all these different operations and directories that we can pick from. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. We kept that at a very basic level, kind of an introduction to what these are and how you might use them. If you have any questions or video topic ideas that you would like for us to cover, leave those in the description box down below. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching and we'll see y'all in the next one.